Hey guys, welcome to another furry film review. I review movies that feature an animal or a character with animal-like traits in the main cast. If you got a movie that fits that bill, let me know in the comments below with hashtag film review. At the end, I'll give you my review using three categories of characters, story, and rememberability. And then I'll tell you if I think it's brilliant or deserves to get slapped in the face by a fish. Like this. Today's topic is from Disney's 2003 Brother Bear. We open with as an old, old shaman, and, or what I think is a shaman anyway, and telling the story of three brothers, Tanahi, Seika, and the main character himself, Kenai. Kenai is the youngest of the brothers, and he's getting ready for the ceremony to become a man. He's a typical show-off teenager, eager to prove himself, but not quite sure how. So, they go out, out and collect some fish for the whole, whole tribe. When a group of kids come up and inform the brothers that the village elder has returned, Kenai fails to tie up the fish properly to keep it away from bears. After the ceremony where Kenai gets a spirit totem from the bear of love, uh, they return to the uh, basket that Kenai failed to tie up and find a bear got into it. The brothers go chasing after the bear, or, or more precisely Kenai who goes after the bear, but when Kenai is, is busy fighting the bear, or the bear looks like he's about to get one up on him, when Seika, the eldest brother, sacrifices himself to save his two little brothers. After the funeral is over, Kenai sets out to get revenge on the bear. Tanai, the middle child, tells Kenai don't do anything to upset the spirits. Kenai ignores him and goes to fight the bear. After successfully killing the bear, the spirit of Seika comes and transforms Kenai into a bear himself. Not before Sam down to the river, where he meets up with the village elder again, and who proceeds to tell him to, in order for him to get back to being a human, he needs to go to the mountain that touches the lights in the sky and make up what he did wrong. While still reeling from the news that he got transformed into a bear, he ends up talking to a pair of Moose brothers. Don't worry, those guys will come up later in the movie. Who tried to tell Kenai, do not go that way. Kenai walks straight into a hunter's trap. While trying to get down, he meets a young bear cub named Coda. Uh, Coda works out an agreement with Kenai that he'll get Kenai down if he'll go to the salmon run with Coda to try to find his mother. Kenai agrees and after barely escaping Tanai, who's after the bear that he believes killed Kenai and Seika, they run to the Moose Brothers again and who informs them that the bear tracks they're leaving is easy, easy to follow. So the bears end up riding up a group of mammoths to disguise their tracks. They soon make it to the uh, salmon run where Kenai is learning how to probably be a bear and that bears aren't exactly the monsters that he always thought they were. Now, while there, they share stories including how Kenai feels that he's like a big brother to Koda, and Koda reveals the story of how his mother went missing while fighting a, a human hunter named Kenai. Kenai reveals to Koda uh, that he was the hunter and he killed Koda's mother. Koda runs off where he meets up with the Moose brothers again who are having a fight of their own. After the Moose brothers make up, they show uh, Koda that brothers should uh, at least try to forgive each other. Koda meets up with Kenai again, just in time for Tanahi uh, to come and try to fight 
Kenai once more. As they're scrapping it out, Kenai sacrifices himself to save Koda. Or at least that was his intention before the spirit of Seika comes from the lights in the sky and puts a stop to it, transforming Kenai back into a human. And Kenai voluntarily returns to being a bear to take care of Koda. At the end of the movie, it, the tribe it recognizes Kenai has become a man. Even if he became a bear. Alright, sorry for rambling on like that, but now here's the review bit. Characters. I feel like the characters really stand out. Seika and Denai it fulfilled their roles wonderfully as the elder brothers. Kenai is such an arrogant man at the start, but he becomes a loving brother by the end. Koda and the Moose brothers are full of hilarious story. At the end of the day, this is a story about finding your own way. And it's not always how you think it would go. Also, it's a story about learning that not everything is out of the same. Like in the scene where Koda and Kenai find a cave painting of a bear fighting a human. Kenai sees the bear as a monster while Koda views the human as the monster. Making Kenai realize that different people are different monsters. At the end of the day, we're all people. And rememberability. Between the visuals and the story behind this screen, I think it really stands out not in the memory. Many people love this movie for a different reason. Post comment here. I want to give a big shout out to all the artists who let me use their work in my review. Links to all their profiles will be in the description below. Be sure to check them out and give them some love. Back to the video. Now. In my opinion, if this movie is brilliant or deserves to get slapped in the face by a fish like this, I think it is brilliant. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, if you liked what you saw and want more, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. Share it with friends, family, coworkers. I honestly do not care. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Click the video on screen right now to check out another one of my videos. Until next time, Johnny.